Okay, so life's been particularly difficult for lots of people with eating disorders over the lockdowns and the pandemic. And what we're seeing here in Forward Thinking Birmingham is not only a rise in young people developing an eating disorder during this time, but also people who have um, started to recover and have had a relapse in their symptoms. Um, I guess the average age of somebody developing an eating disorder is in their mid-teens, so it's not really um, that uh, surprising that during all of the uncertainty and the things that are going on around school at the moment that we're seeing a much higher incidence when young people are under uh, you know, much more stress and much more uncertainty than they used to. Um, what we've also seen is that the cohort of people who um, were recovering have lost some of the um, support networks that they've had. They're not seeing friends as much, not seeing family as much. We've had university students coming back to halls of residences that are empty. There's no people around, no support. So it's very difficult to just kind of get in that zone and, um, and the illness can very easily take over. Um, I guess what advice we would have for parents, carers, friends, professionals, other family members is that it's always difficult to have a conversation about some, you know, about an eating disorder with someone and especially so at the moment. But what we'd encourage you to do is try your best to have those conversations with people that you're worried about because you never know. Um, yes, eating disorders are hidden and secretive at times, but you never know whether that conversation that you have will be the validation and the encouragement that somebody might need to access help and support. Now, the best way to access help and support is usually through the GP, so booking an appointment at a GP. Um, if you live in Birmingham and you are between 0 to 25, then you can refer yourself in on the Forward Thinking Birmingham website. You can also refer a family member in if you're worried about them too. Um, during the pandemic, Forward Thinking Birmingham has remained extremely responsive. The eating disorder team is continuing to see high numbers of cases, new referrals and existing um, patients. So um, do refer yourself in if you're worried.